So this past week, the Falcons played Atlanta and King T.I. was performing at the show. King was there on live with T.I. and Tiny and talking about he's staying on business and his daddy is capping skirt, skirt. First of all, capping. The disrespect is real, though. Capping. First of all, I'm not one of your little friends. That would have been the first thing. But anyway, they went on. Tiny is trying to de-escalate the situation like it was just a joke, chill, yada, yada, yada. He's telling his dad he ain't what he portraying and all this other stuff. Just going in. And it ends up with King in the headlock. You ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the ghost. All right, then. Look, you used to have to come rested. to my grandma house because I'm getting in the you fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You used to you hold your breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. Be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. They don't understand that. I'm gonna tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Cause he can suck and pacify over there. He's twelve years old. He was sucking. He capping. He capping. Hey, he's not capping. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You okay. drop me somewhere, I stand on business. Like, just be a s***. Just be a s***. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. 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 You're Man, I know you, you know. Man, I know you know. What the fuck I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Cause we say the stop ain't the sub. Yeah, you are you can't do nothing with me. I don't care how big and bad you think you talk about you a grown man now and all this other crazy ass shit. Your daddy still whipped your ass. It seems like King is just going through some growing pains. Because you saying that it was a problem with you going over your grandmother's house and this, that, and the third, but at the same time, just did an interview with T.I. saying that you were grandma's baby. Say we was the best reality TV show ever dropped. Oh, but let you tell it. You 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 was an orphan. When, 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 I was when, never when, an orphan. When, when that was Batman. That's Batman's story. I'm a grandma boy. <laughs> I'm a grandma boy. So according to Tiny, um, you would go to your grandmother's house because you was able to get your way over there. But King is kind of making it seem like, oh, well, y'all pushed me off on my grandmother and, you know, I had to live through this pain. Oh, my God, I had to live through this. And then y'all called me over here to your house only when we was filming the T.I. and Tiny show. Now, sir... How many people have been to their grandma's house and was never able to go back to your parents' house? Ever. On top of that, y'all poor and broke and everything else. Like, you don't think that your parents was funding you staying over at your grandmother's house? I don't see no real problems here. I don't see no real problems. What? You had a little bit of neglect issues going on because your parents had to work? Hello? Like, maybe I just grew up in a different generation, but this is extra soft, charming, soft. Like, calm down. You ain't dealing with no real issue. Now, your y'all's best friend, Uncle Charleston White, like got online, and of course, he had to say something because he recently or previously had this little spit spat 
with T.I.'s son, King, and also Boosie's son, Tootie. King is just going off at the mouth. He's, you know, pull up as he's staying on business. And now, of course, Charleston White had to come out and say something about the whole situation. You're jealous because your daddy got the Picasso in the house. I go, go fight your cousin, nigga. That's how you know you're standing on business. Nigga done fought them cousin. You ain't grew up fighting cousin. Then you been a Picasso living motherfucker. Now y'all all of a sudden, boy, you done, you done, you disrespecting Tippy? Nigga, you done, you done got so shit. You know, Charleston White, he not, he's not with, with the threats. You know how he, how he do his thing that he do when he do it. And so he's tagging the Fulton County Prosecutor's Office and all this other stuff. This isn't the first time or the the second time or even the third time that King has been, that we've seen him out on social media acting the nut outside of Charleston White and him being on live getting choked out by his daddy. Um, we also seen when he was at the Trap Museum and he was, you know, about to pop his trunk. We seen him at school. I dare y'all to take my chain. I dare y'all to take my chain. Okay, boo boo. And then we see him at the Waffle House. We see him at the Waffle House, pulling out money like I could pay for your whole life. I could pay, you know, who is you? I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? Person that What's your name? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. That fire your shit. Come back. Come back. What? Come On game what? On game what? Who is you? You know me? You know me? Come on. This ain't the first time. He just, he's just a live wire. That's just his personality, as we do. If he was able to take that same personality and use it and put it behind something, you know, that better suits him, he would be a beast. He would be a beast because he don't have all that personality and <laughs> for nothing. But he's just using it in the wrong way. And your rap career, you need to just be done with it. I don't know why your daddy won't just tell you that. Maybe he did, you just wasn't listening. But I'm, I'm really, I do kind of like the money's my, uh, music. Masai is very talented. But I really think that King should go a different way. I'm just saying. Everybody ain't meant to be a rapper or, or a rock star, you know? You know better than that. You ain't gotta be a dope boy to have money. It's, I don't know why he's not listening. I feel like him and his, maybe him and his dad is just too much alike. Or maybe he just looks up to his dad so much. Maybe he wishes that he was the rubber band man. You know? Maybe he wishes that. I'm in the drop top Chevy with the roof wide open. My partner's looking at me to see if my eyes open. Cause I've been drinking and I've been smoking. Flying down 285, but I'm focused. Most definitely we want that too. So I mean, I can't blame him in that sense, but he needs to get it together. Your life wasn't that hard, honey. Your life was not that hard in comparison to a lot of other kids out here. Like, your, your life wasn't that hard, honey. I need you to come down to Earth for just a little minute, if you can. Please come down and, and stop acting like Tip and Tiny ain't provide you with a life that a lot of us wish that we had. So pump your brakes.